Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I'm a self-taught makeup enthusiast who has a little bit of a lipstick addiction. I tried stopping myself from buying lipstick and then KVD put out a reformulation of their everlasting lipstick. So I'm like, well, I have to try it out. And that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be trying out the shade Moth Orchid. I think this is a new shade. Some of their other shades, like particularly Lolita and a couple other shades were renamed. I don't know, this one seems to be a new color. So I didn't love a ton of the shades that they had, or I already had shades like that in my collection. So I wanted to get something a little bit different. It is a very neutral shade because I actually don't wear a lot of colorful lipstick. Anyways, nobody cares. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be testing it out and kind of compare it to the old formula. They say this one's hyper light. A thing that I don't like about the original formula is it does feel a little heavy, but I would rather have that and have the product last all day than have it transfer. So I'm gonna be testing transferability and see how it wears after like eating and stuff. It's currently about three o'clock right now in the afternoon. So we'll see kind of how it wears throughout the rest of the day after dinner and I'll do a check-in and um, we'll see kind of like how it compares as far as longevity. So if you guys wanna see all that, then please keep on watching. All right, so I have, I don't know if I'm gonna, I probably will be putting up this video first, but I did like a little rant about KVD's like ever-changing branding. And it's just, I, I don't know what they're doing. Like I, I really hate this new font that they have here. This is what the box looks like, by the way. I don't know, this brand feels very confused. I know that they had to rebrand because Kat Von D left the company and all of that, but I don't know. They just seem to like always be rebranding and always like, I don't know. It feels, it feels unfocused. It feels like a lot of different people have stepped in to run the company and then they'll leave and then someone else comes in and wants to make their mark and it doesn't feel consistent. So just a bit of context, I'm a graphic designer and I've worked in branding and packaging before. I do have a background in this kind of thing more from the design side than the business side, but still. Uh, and this just feels very unfocused. I don't know, it feels like cheap. It looks like they're trying to go for sort of that like old Hollywood glamour, a little bit Art Deco inspired, and it just feels like a cheap imitation of the brand as it was with Kat Von D. We already have a brand like Charlotte Tilbury that does that kind of old Hollywood glamour inspired, you know, branding and packaging, but they do it in kind of a more luxury way. So I guess like this is sort of almost, I see this as like, like the dark counterpart. Feels almost a little like Dita Von Tees inspired in a way, like sort of her burlesque aesthetic, but it seems very cheap. I don't know. I can't really like put my finger on it, but it just, it feels a little soulless. And I get that they're sort of trying to keep those dark elements in there, but like, why not just keep the same branding? I don't really get it. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna open this. Uh, so the shade that I got is sort of like this mauve dusty rose kind of color. All right, let's take a look. Oh, wow, I hate this component so much. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's like, um, what is this, an octagon? Wow, I hate everything about this. Okay, so in the pictures, this um, tube, looked like it was like smooth. It looked like it was kind of like a generic component from like a, you know, the manufacturer or whatever. This definitely feels a little more custom, but it feels so cheap. Uh, like, I mean, it is weighty, but like just, it looks super cheap. The color is very pretty though. I will give them that. Uh, the cap is nice. It says KVD on it, but like it just, it looks soulless compared with the original one, which is a slimmer tube. I've got lips, uh, I've got foundation all over here, but like it's got, you know, Kat Von D. It's got this really nice, um, I mean, it is kind of cheap, but like it's got this really like sort of hand illustrated looking pattern on the cap. It's minimalist, uh, which this is also minimalist, but it doesn't look cheap. It's very distinctive. Oh, there's actually, is there a pattern on here? Oh, there's actually, I think a pattern on the tube Kat Von D's lipsticks, and then following that KVD, 
Uh, this brand's lipsticks always looked distinctive because they were the only ones in these like tall skinny tubes. This could be any brand looking at it. And it even could be like a private label package because there's really no distinguishing elements other than the KVD on the cap. Now, I'm not saying that they have to have a custom, you know, component, but some sort of like, you know, branding on the actual like tube itself. And I'm not talking about on the cap, like just something to set it apart so that if you see a stand of these just lined up in a row, you can instantly see it and say, yeah, that's KVD. This has no soul, this has no brand recognition, whereas this does. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just like, it's very bland and underwhelming. And when they made the announcement and they had the picture of this on Instagram, I was just like, really? Like that's what they're spending their money on? I don't know, it's just disappointing. Like even if they put a sticker on here or like a sleeve or something, to have the brand name on there. I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna try the formula and maybe maybe it'll be better than, than this first impression. I'll just say that a couple things that I don't like about the original formula. Number one, it's a very thin formula. It's like very watery feeling. And because of that, you have to layer it a few times to get the opacity that you want, especially with like a black lipstick, for example. It takes a while to build up the color. I also prefer using a lip liner with it because then you can get kind of like a base color, you know, underneath, you can build up a little more opacity and then put it over top. But even if you wear it by itself, like it does, it is very long lasting. So I will give it that. Um, and you know, obviously you can wear it with or without the lip liner and it's totally fine either way, to be honest. But it is a dry, heavy kind of feeling, which personally I don't, super mind because I'd rather it be kind of a heavier, I'd rather it not budge at all. I'd rather it be transfer proof and not wear away after eating because one of my biggest pet peeves about lipstick is when you eat something, even with like a moderate amount of grease, and then by the time you finish the meal, you've got either your entire lipstick is gone or you've got like that, <laughs> I call it like the ring of shame almost. Like you've got like an outline of your lipstick, but then the inner part has all been worn away and it's just your lip color. So like, especially if you're wearing like a dark lipstick, you look absolutely ridiculous, which is why I think I stick to neutral lip colors because if it wears away, it ends up looking more or less like the color of my lips anyways. But yeah, uh, let's just read a little bit about this. So it calls it a hyper light liquid lipstick, which I sort of suspect um, maybe there was like a, a legal issue with the name of the product because the other one is called it's also everlasting ah interesting so the original one is called everlasting long wear lip liquid lipstick and then the new one is called everlasting hyper light vegan transfer resistant liquid lipstick transfer resistant so now i'm kind of suspicious that this won't last all day it says it's ultra comfortable, all day wear, transfer, transfer resistant, but how does it last through food? That's really what I wanna know. So anyways, let's try it out. Ooh, wow, okay, so it's got like that sort of cake batter scent, whereas the original one is not scented. It's got like an angled doe foot. So just to compare, pretty similar to the original. So this is the original, this is the new one. So as you can see, slightly longer, but thinner. The original one just kind of smelled like paint. It was actually not the most pleasant. Personally, I don't care if my lip products are scented. It doesn't really make a difference to me. I'd rather have them like work and be unscented, but that's fine. All right. Okay, so right off the bat, wow, that is a, a smell. Um, right off the bat, oh yeah, and we also have this stopper here that's actually quite small. So it does make sure that you don't have too much product on here. Mm, wow, okay, it dries really quickly. It is that kind of thin, uh, kind of sheer formula. So pretty similar to the original. Uh, a little bit drier, like it's not as thin and watery. but it is still 
pretty sheer. Like I wouldn't say it's super light on the lips. It's not as like heavy kind of crusty feeling, but it does feel like I have something on my lips, which doesn't bother me, but I feel like that would bother a lot of people. And it's a little sticky, but it dries really fast. Like it's already dry basically. Uh, so let's just do a transfer test. Clean hand. Okay, so I got like a little bit of transfer, probably just an area that wasn't completely dry. So I'll just give it, okay, let's just try the other hand, which is clean. Okay, yeah, so I'm still getting, you can see there's like a little bit of transfer, but it dried really quickly. Now that it's fully dry, maybe I'm just used to it, but it doesn't feel as heavy on the lips. It does feel like it's coated in like, um, I don't know, if you've ever put <laughs> loose powder on your lips, that's kind of what it feels like. It feels like it's sort of coated in like a matte coating. It is very matte, uh, but it's comfortable actually. I'm, I'm like trying to describe it as accurately as possible. I'm trying to like look out for like all the little things. So I wouldn't say that my lips are particularly dry. I have like a whole nighttime lip routine and everything. If your lips are on the drier side, I feel like this might be a little bit uncomfortable. At the end of the day, it is a matte liquid lipstick, so it, it does have that drying quality to it to, you know, stay sort of long lasting and whatnot on your lips and matte. This is really pretty though. It looks really nice. It's very natural. You know what? I really like it. Obviously we'll see how it wears after food. Barely feels like I'm wearing anything on my lips. Mm. When I lick my lips, it's like, you know, you can feel like a, a very like matte drying kind of coat. It looks good. It applied well. A thing about the original one is like sometimes it sort of feels like it is sucking all the moisture out of your lips. This one, I don't feel that as much. It just sort of feels like it's coated in like a matte, uh, like, like a matte coating. I don't know. It's like a blanket of like matte, but it seemed to like go on softly and not like cling and suck all the life out of your lips, if that makes sense. You know, so far so good. We'll try it out. We'll see how it wears over the next few hours and then I'll do a check-in and, you know, talk about my thoughts then. It is now 9.30 p.m. I just ate dinner and this is what my lips look like. So let me zoom in and I'll show you. As you can see, we basically have that awkward, like, what did I call it earlier? Like the, the ring of doom or something like that. Uh, basically it did not last through food. So keep in mind, I did have a bit of an oily dinner. I feel like the original formula, it might not have lasted completely through that, but it wouldn't have like worn away completely. Now this lip shade is close-ish to my natural lip color. So it's not awful if it wears away, but if I was wearing one of the bolder, uh, colors or one of the darker colors, it would just look stupid at this point. I can still feel the product on my lips in the areas, you know, where, where it is, but it's disappointing that it didn't last. I know it says it's transfer resistant, but I don't know. I'm more impressed with the original formula, I have to say, and I don't really understand why they changed it unless it was some sort of like legal issue. Uh, as far as like intellectual property or, you know, different ownership or different, I don't know, creative direction or something. But like, why do you have to mess with a good thing? Like, I don't think they were getting like ridiculous complaints about the original formula. So I don't understand, like if they wanted to switch up the component, fine, but just keep the original formula. Like, I don't understand why, why fix something that isn't broken. If they wanted to make kind of a softer lip cream or, you know, something that's a little more in line with the current trend of like, kind of like a lip stain or something, great, by all means do it. But why not keep a formula that, as far as I know, is pretty popular and that a lot of people love? It just doesn't make sense to me. The trend for a while was like liquid lip, the most matte thing ever, but pretty long lasting. And now the trend is the complete opposite direction, kind of more of like a soft lip tint. But why do you have to get rid of something that's already there? Like you already have a group of people who continue to wear matte liquid lipstick, even if it might not be popular right now. 
why not just introduce another type of product so you can have both of them? It doesn't make sense to me. I don't know, I would give this like a three and a half out of five, which kind of seems harsh. It's not bad, it's just like for this type of product, especially something that feels and looks so matte when you apply it, I expect it to last all day. And if it doesn't, then why would I buy this? Like if I go and buy like a lip oil or a lip tint or a lip gloss or something, I don't expect those to last all day because that's not the type of formula. But something like this, like a matte liquid lipstick, I expect that to last all day. And I expect it to last pretty deep. that I just spat all over. And I expect it to last pretty decently without a lip liner. I'm kind of disappointed with the way that KVD is going. Uh, and it's a shame that, you know, a brand that was sort of known for like, you know, their tattoo inspired products, like products that are so long lasting, it's like having a tattoo, changing that and changing that association just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would you do that? I think it's great to have products on the market that are super long lasting because not everyone wants a product that disappears after a few hours of wear. Some people want something that will last all day, especially when you think about like bridal makeup or things like that. I get trying to keep up with the trends, but you can still put out new products while keeping your cult classic favorite products. I mean, this is nice. I will continue to wear it. It's a pretty color. It looks nice on me, I think. But would I repurchase this? No. And would I recommend this? Honestly, no. Yeah, I am kind of kind of disappointed by this, not gonna lie. So if this video was helpful at all, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. If you've tried this out, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like the type of content that I post here on my channel and you wanna see more, I'd love it if you could subscribe and turn on notifications and that way you'll get updated every time I post a new video and I'll see you guys next time.